Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Hope you had a lovely weekend. If you are new, welcome. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. And keep in mind, this is a general reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgos, let's get into your Sunday reading going forward in the month of May. Already you have coffee cup, uh, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. Okay, let's see what else is going on. All right. So, heartbroken and a photograph. Okay, interesting. Heartbroken. Um, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning, and looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. So, hmm, well, Virgo, this is kind of um, self-explanatory. It looks like someone who's very heartbroken. Um, they've been looking at your photos um, or pictures of you or having memories of you, um, missing you, feeling very nostalgic. Um, somebody's feeling lost without you here and would like to have coffee with you or sit down and, and talk. Maybe to try to have a friendship or something along those lines. Okay, Virgo, let's see. Now, that doesn't have to be, um, you know, a romantic relationship. I know some of you are, you know, in that place where you're not trying to, you know, get back into a, a, a past thing. So for some of you, this could be a friend or a family member, um, but it is a love reading, so take it as it resonates. Okay, let's take a look and see what's going on with someone here who is really feeling nostalgic about you. Um, they can't see you. Okay, it could be an Aries. It could be an Aquarius. Okay. Hmm. Well, this is this just does not go together, honestly. Um, the Emperor is someone who is very stable, structured, someone who is very mature, full of wisdom, quite wise. Um, and it is out of character for the Emperor to be careless and take some kind of risk here. But look at all the red here on the robe that he's wearing. Um, this is someone who is really a lot of passion. <clears throat> But it looks to me like, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it looks to me like there's somebody here who is going to be, I guess I want to say acting out of character here to um, do something, take some kind of risk here to connect with you, okay? Um, this is not something that I feel like this particular person would normally do. The emperor does n never takes care, never takes any kind of risks, okay? Um, unless they are kind of pre-planned, but then it wouldn't be a risk, would it? Um, this is spontaneity in a lot of ways. So this person, this emperor, is um, taking a huge chance here, wants to have some kind of beginning or new beginning with you, is feeling really hopeful, and, uh, you know, wants, uh, it feels like start over, uh, have, a, have a restart with you, okay? For some of you, this could be a father, um, could be a father of your children or a parent or a co like another parent, parent of your children. For some, um, this could be an older sibling, someone who's very mature and wise. It could be a military or in some type of law enforcement of some sort. They could also just be someone who is much older than you or close to your age. Okay. Um, very mature. Like I said, the emperor um, is very strategic, plans things out. You know, emperor doesn't <clears throat> jump the gun with anything here but I feel like this emperor is really heartbroken and is really missing you let me see and um I'm thinking about also the times that you guys would sit and have coffee together but um definitely uh wants to meet up okay and wants to talk now let's see what do they want to talk about with Virgo what does this person oh Okay, <laughs> so the first thing I'm hearing is this emperor is, you know, the conversation or they want to talk and, and I feel like what they want to say is, uh, I know I need to make these changes. I know that I need to make this transition, um, do something different here. 
um, either relocate or move or I'm going to be relocating or moving or coming your way. Um, let me see here. What else does this emperor want to say to Virgo? Um, there may be um, just a conversation about them moving or relocating, um, which I'm not really sure, but a lot of it has to do with, um, you know, making some kind of transition and change in their life. Okay, what else? Okay, wow. Um, all right. So this emperor is like really remorseful. Also, um, there's remorse and regret for not making some kind of change. Sorry about the lighting. It's like not so great lighting, but um, really regretful, remorseful about not making the necessary change to um, further a relationship, but also regretful and feeling a sense of loss and remorse about coming in and out of your life or um, chasing after the lustful desire with you, okay? Um, this Knight of Wands, this feels like this was their behavior with you, which was also out of character for them. Um, I do feel like this person was like tremendously on fire for you, Virgo, definitely. But I don't know. I don't know if this, it's not like the Emperor to not be in a committed kind of relationship, you know? Um, but I do feel like there was some part of this person, this emperor's behavior that was very childish or child, well, not childlike, very immature, you know, um, maybe in all other areas of their life, they may have presented as someone who, um, is older or someone who is mature and wise, but their behavior seems to me like they were acting like they were still, um, 20 year old <laughs> or an 18 year old, you know, less lustful and, um, you know, coming in and out of your life or just someone who was dating like a wild person, like very crazy, you know, and their mental, it was a lot of the mental stuff because I feel like <clears throat> they're, they're going into the six of swords, which is making this transition and change coming from the five of swords, who was someone that might have been very like, um, I, all right, so I don't know if they were actually abusive, but I feel like uh, the way they were treating their relationships for their age, um, like, for example, if they were someone here in their 40s or 50s or 60s and all up, still acting like an 18-year-old in their relationships, which, you know, they think this emperor this feels like I'm growing up. Like I know, I feel like their thought process is, I know I need to make this change here with Virgo because of an act and a fool. Okay. Okay, Virgo. So let me see. What else can you tell Virgo about this emperor? And just remember, um, it's masculine or feminine energy. Okay. So, you know, Twist it around if you need to. Let me see. What else is going on here with this person? Okay. The Hermit in the Reverse. Hmm. This person, the Emperor, gosh, Virgo, this person is like, can't let go of the past. When it comes to you, you being part of their past, this person drives forward in their vehicle but they look through, they've been looking through and they continuously look through the rear view mirror. I feel like this person cannot seem to let go and move on with their life with the world in the reverse. They're stuck. This is unfinished lessons or unfinished business with you. Oh, Virgo. Hmm. They have something, they have some things they want to talk about. Um, they have some things that they need to say to you. I feel like with the hermit in reverse, this person is in isolation. They feel lonely. Um, they keep repeating this pa same past mistakes. They're stuck. These are both cards about being stuck. Stuck on you, but stuck in the past. This person is missing you like crazy, Virgo. Okay, so I do feel like they're going to come forward. 
maybe a call, a text, or something along those lines. Tell you that they would, or at least ask you if you guys can talk. They want to tell you, um, you know, they're making changes here. They can't live without you. I don't know, Virgo, your situation, so I don't know if it's too soon or if a lot of time has passed and this person comes forward in May and you're willing to hear them out. Um, I am going to tell you that I was asking as I was shuffling, I wanted to see your energy and you have the seven of pentacles. So you're definitely, I feel like when you hear from this person, your energy is going to be contemplation of whether or not you want to give it one last try. You've invested a lot here, Virgo, it looks like. Look at all those pentacles. You've invested a lot, a lot of time. You've put a lot of energy and, you know, you've kept piling things up in this relationship, trying to build something here with someone. And I don't know, Virgo, do you have one last coin left? One last thing to give? I feel maybe you do maybe you don't uh, but the question the real question is here um, will you and I see you kind of like looking at all you've invested knowing that you might have one last hurrah in you with this but you also might be looking at all you and you've invested and just saying no you, you might not so let's see what else is going on with you here Virgo What's Virgo going to do? I mean, there's this definitely the seven of uh, pentacles is a card about, um, you know, you've put in a lot of um, hard work and you've, you've, the rewards have been delayed all the time for some of you, or you just, it was like, it took too long for you to get anything back or to see any results or reciprocity. So you're in contemplation here, Virgo. There you are, sitting sitting pretty, Virgo. Sitting there with that King of Pentacles. Virgo, you're, for some of you, um, you're gonna do a lot of thinking. <laughs> a lot of thinking about this, a lot of contemplation. Um, you're definitely in your element when it comes to this person. Um, Okay, I've got the start. So that is hope and renewal. A lot of contemplation about, you know, can this work? Can we renew? Can there be healing? You know, should I? Or is it just done? Virgo, I can't tell you what you're going to do because I don't see you doing anything. I see you contemplating it, thinking about the offer. I see you, um, you know... Uh, realizing that you may have hit rock bottom with this situation and now you're trying to heal and you may not want to go back down that road but also see you saying to yourself but on the other hand you know things did did end and uh you know maybe there's a chance you know look at all the yellow the clearing of this the dark cloud on the horizon after everything ending maybe there's a chance to start afresh and have a new beginning so i i do kind of feel virgo like you're not in a yes there's no absolutes with you you're not in a yes and you're not in a no you're in a kind of maybe and and what i say by maybe is it's not even so much if you want to start the relationship over for some of you it's if you want to return the call or if you want to uh, meet for coffee or just meet to talk or talk on the phone about things you know I, I don't know Virgo uh, you know I just see you like really kind of trying to be strategic and see all the moves ahead like what is this worth it is it worth it to me to go down this road again yeah <clears throat> And I don't think, I mean, for anyone who's cross-watching about the Virgo, I think Virgo's in the right place and has every right to be able to um, determine for themselves if this is what's in their best interest. Um, just because cross-watcher, it's in your best interest, doesn't mean it's in Virgo's. So Virgo is definitely going to be taking some time to sort it out in their heart and in their mind. Okay, so Virgo, I feel like for you, yeah, look at you, <laughs> Virgo, I mean, seriously, this is kind of like, you know, somewhere over the rainbow, <laughs> it's like, you're just standing there like, I don't know, do I put my, th this is a card of someone who basically 
puts their ships out into the water and then waits to see what the return is going to be. I feel Virgo, a lot of it is about you have been waiting and waiting and waiting. And some of you may have just decided that it was over and you just wanted to heal. But of course, it seems to me like if you have just turned your back on the relationship and um, lost hope for the relationship, grieved the hopes that you had and turned your back to look and see what else might be out there um there that's what i feel like the how the cycle is playing out that in your time of turning your back on someone here has given this person space and time to sort things out for themselves and what they're finding out here what it looks like is that they're isolated they're lonely and they can't let you go and they don't want to let you go and they want to try to make something work what you do with that virgo of course like i always say is up to you uh, let's try and see what this person feels for virgo what are their feelings about virgo okay wow the magician and temperance i mean i feel like this person thinks that you are their like their lucky rabbit's foot i'm just hearing something like you're magical they they see, i don't know the word magical just keeps showing up for me um that you are able to make things happen with like only very few tools in your life like you are i don't know maybe you're an, a magician or you do something magical they also feel like you um you bring them peace you bring them a sense of peace and calm and uh that you've been very patient with them this is what i feel like this person is like seeing about you right now that you're a manifester virgo um they see uh, they're very inspired by you is what i feel like you inspire them And I don't know, I guess this is what they're coming to terms with about who you are. Okay. <laughs> um, but they're also shocked that you um, were able to walk away or that you have that ability to walk away from anything that doesn't return, that you don't get a return on, that you, I almost feel like this person is shocked that you walked away, I'm hearing so easily. I don't know if you did or not. Maybe maybe you didn't walk away easily. But um, that you just kind of like took your ball and went home. Even the moon is kind of looking at you like, what the heck's Virgo doing? Like it's a little bit of a surprise. And I feel like this person kind of feels that way about you. Like, wow. They're, they're actually very impressed that you were able to love yourself more than you love them. Hmm. Virgo maybe I don't know did you well it doesn't matter I just feel like how they feel about oh my gosh yeah Virgo I mean they see you looking good maybe you got a new car they're looking to see you're beautiful like you're looking good in your car maybe you bought a brand new car um I feel like this person sees you as just being um completely financially independent and capable of they see that you've changed that's also what i i'm hearing that you took some action in your life here and you changed for the better you you got yourself in a really good place and they're just unbelievably impressed also kind of a i don't want to say like they're upset that you don't need them they're kind of like wow i don't know if they thought maybe you couldn't do that or you wouldn't be able to do that but it looks like Maybe you, you got in your car and you left. They see that also, that you just you just went and took care of self. How do you feel about this person, Virgo? Okay. Huh. Well, let's see. Six of Wands. So you think this person is um, popular or well-known or well-liked? Uh, you see that and that they are... Okay. You see that they travel a lot. Um, how you feel about them, Virgo? It looks to me like you have feelings for this person. Um, some Cupid's arrows kind of crush things. Very passionate about them. Um, 
you know, how you feel about someone, I will say, doesn't really um, change with whether or not the relationship is going to work. I think feelings are just feelings. And I feel like you, you, you feel like this person um, either requires a lot of attention or you feel like they, um, they love bomb you in order to um, gain attention from you. <laughs> Let me see. This is interesting reading. Okay. Oh, hmm. Yeah, Virgo, I don't know. I don't know how to take this, but I'm just going to give you the message. I feel like I feel like you feel this person is an opportunist that they give to get. They give a lot in order to feel like they're worthy. Uh, it's almost transactional. But I also feel like you think this relationship or this person had a lot of potential for growth and positive good vibes. And it was very transforming. Uh, you feel like this person may have transformed your life in some way. Okay. Even if it was negative, it, you know, negative or positive, they definitely, I feel like Virgo, you feel like this person definitely le left an impact on you. Um, and that impact may have been, um, lessons learned for sure. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of, okay. Hmm. Virgo, I have to tell you, like, I, there's still a lot of potential here with this relationship. That's the message I'm getting. There's potential for growth here. Now we have the Queen of Cups, so that could be um, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also had the King of Pentacles, so could also be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. A lot of potential, but you know, Virgo, it, the Ace energy, the Aces, just kind of gives me this vibe, like, always a potential and it just maybe didn't go any further than that. You know, I mean, if you're here listening, obviously, you know, either you were married to this person and you guys separated or it ended, it, you know, it, if it had the potential, which it does, to go the distance till you're like in your 80s. I mean, obviously it didn't because it didn't go that far because you're here listening, right? So, what kept this relate well i have to say like what kept the relationship from going forward on this person's part was a lack of maturity really somebody who was older or mature in age or um physicality but acted like um someone who was you know like a frat boy or a frat girl pa uh, party boy party girl um what about you virgo what about you? Tell Virgo more about Virgo. Okay, for you, Virgo, um, I feel like because of that behavior, you kept it, you kept yourself guarded. You know, I feel like you um, just didn't open up to this person. Maybe you didn't feel safe with them, or you, you just didn't trust. You wanted a long term relationship with this person because that's what that card represents: long term commitment long-term security but you also um i don't know i just get a sense that you didn't feel like because of that knight of wands energy that they really wanted more with you other than maybe than just the physical hmm. okay But you knew that this you knew that this person had something in them that was favorable to you. You definitely did, and I feel like at some point you might have felt very lucky to know them. Um, it, Virgo, like I don't like to do the whole blame game thing, but it feels like this person's actions were not healthy. Okay, you know, having that physical passion for someone is not a bad thing, but the Knight of Wands, the Knight is not, Knight of Wands is not a card that comes in and stays. They're often like from going from port to port. The Knight of Wands is someone who's chasing after their, their fiery, lusty desires. Okay, and um, it feels to me like that's 
the priority that this person had on the relationship and wasn't willing to go the distance or give more potential was always there but this person needed to grow up that's really what i feel like and i feel like it was most favorable for you to protect yourself while communicating or staying um, involved with this person and i feel like i don't know exactly how it ended but i feel like somewhere along the line it may have or it may uh, come to that now and then this person kind of shows back up in may knowing you know even towards the end of may realizing that they need to make changes here um in, yep there's your sign they needed they needed to or they need to make changes here in order to um have something with you because virgo I, I feel like somewhere along the lines like i said you come into may if you're not there already where you don't hate this person but i feel like you're just loving yourself more than you're loving them and that's very attractive your self your your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive Okay, yeah, there's passion. Okay, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Because there's definitely a lot of passion here. Let me see. But as I always say, passion is not sustainable long term. There has to be more than just the passions. Yeah, passion and playfulness. A good aspect of the relationship, Virgo. Um, definitely feel like that energy was there between the two of you but i don't know it just kind of feels virgo like you were a bit more mature than this person um not that you didn't like the passion and the playfulness between you but it feels more like hmm, yeah you guys had those kid vibes together a little bit you know the playfulness aspect but that's fun but it, maybe you wanted more from this relationship virgo going forward you wanted more and i don't feel like this person was able to give that and you probably left and said that's okay i'm out you know um it was fun we had fun together the playfulness the passion acting like kids you know um but this was a person for you i really just feel like um you guys were at different places in your life maybe maybe maturity wise or something along those lines um okay You know, I just realized that Sunday is supposed to be a singles reading. <laughs> and I just completely didn't do it. Okay, that's fine. Um, so let's get into, let me see. What is the hidden truth? I want to see the hidden truth. This person, their feelings. You came closer than anyone. I lost myself there for a little while. I'm afraid to contact you because I know that I crossed the line with you. Okay, so they get some fear about reaching out. Why? Because you might reject them. Um, I don't know if you will or not. I think you might just say, or if you do respond, if you wish to, and just tell them, well, I'll have to think about it. Um, but they look for you everywhere, like I said. I mean, they're, they're looking for you. They're looking at you. They're looking at anything that you've shared with them any keepsakes that they have from you um but i do feel like they're kind of looking for you they're looking for you everywhere i don't know like a lost like what it virgo's a lost puppy virgo's not lost virgo's fine let me say i mean yeah my life is not as together as it seems this person probably came in fronting with that emperor energy um or gave off a vibe that they were like super mature and you know they had it all together and uh, some of you might have just made the, an assumption based on their age that they should be acting a particular way and they might have tried to dupe you and make you think that they were but they really weren't you know an emotional immaturity coming from this person no matter what age uh, maybe a little bit too much play a little bit too much passion like a like a like a frat kid a college party party person i don't know did it just not fit okay i replay our conversations over and over so virgo i do feel like this person like i don't know they're stuck on you yep they're stuck on you and and this person is not doing good in their life i, I just feel like they're kind of isolated they might be trying to get themselves less isolated with friends and family or whomever maybe dating but it doesn't feel like um 
I don't know, you're on their mind. So if things were going great, this wouldn't be happening. Um, maybe it's just not time. And because they haven't met someone yet, they're still trying to work on things with you. That's possible. And that could be a little bit of a reason why you may not be rushing back into this. Um, because they're, you know, I mean, does the person have to show up with the bloody stump? Yes. And, you know, this is a little bit of my bloody stump card here. So, you know, if you don't know what that means, everyone in the chat will tell you. But, uh, yeah, they got to be willing to come in and give some kind of effort, you know. Um, yeah, Virgo, it kind of feels to me like you're not... Um, I don't know. You're you're not him and Han, but you definitely feel to me like you're undecided or some of you might just be completely no and some of you might be completely yes, but yeah, <laughs> you're definitely like I'm not rushing into anything here. Going slow. And that is your message, Virgo. Okay. Lean on your inner circle during this time. I really feel like, Virgo, when this person comes back up and wants to try to reinitiate the connection with you, um, your advice here is to connect with people that support you and that you feel are your confidants, that you can trust as far as, not that you need someone's approval about what you should do with your own life, but there's something here about some people in your life who either um, can be objective um, in the situation if you need help trying to figure out how to handle something. Um, be careful with who you choose to tell your personal business to, Virgo. Um, whomever you share with um, your inner circle, make sure those people in your inner circle can give you an objective, straightforward point of view. Not that they will project their own personal opinions from what's happened to them in their life, but people who can tell you, you have to do what's best for you, honor yourself, self-respect is really important. People who are going to tell you that um, be your best self, if you feel like you are ready for this, you know, make sure that you are going slow and you're not rushing into it, you know, um, and not people who are going to tell you F that person, block them. Um, a lot of times people will give you bad advice because they haven't sorted out their own personal problems and they're telling you what they would do in their own situation. And that's not for the benefit of you. That is for them right so who you're talking to let it be someone who um isn't emotionally attached to the situation and and has has sorted out their own problems like if you go to someone asking them for advice relationship advice and the person you go to has been in like 10 relationships and they've all failed or they um have never been in a relationship in their entire life. I mean, I don't know. I don't feel like you're going to go to like the garbage guy outside and ask him for accounting help unless he works as an accountant and just does garbage on the side. I feel like make sure who you're seeking support from are from people who have been through it and they've gotten over hurdles and they know what comes next and stuff like that. I don't feel like you should be fighting to keep a relationship alive when the other person's just watching you doing all the fighting to keep it alive. I think it's okay to have a relationship where you guys have turbulence and you both fight together to save the relationship. But if you feel like you're going to have to fight to keep this, like, you know, CPR and a dead horse every single day when that horse is just not coming back to breathe is a waste of time. So there's a lot of stuff. Okay. Yeah. Warning. Don't dismiss any red flags. Okay. And then it says leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. Okay. But time alone in nature will help you recharge an addiction. It's so crazy because I was feeling this. Hmm. You know, somebody could have an addiction or be addictive personality or, you know, 
I, I don't know what the situation is here, but if that resonates for you, that might be something for you to consider. If somebody has an addiction, are they getting help for it? Are they just addicted to you? You know, are they just jonesing because you're not giving them the supply? Like, what is the situation really thoroughly? And I feel like you're going to do that with the Seven of Pentacles really thoroughly try to understand what's going on here because I don't really feel like Virgo you want to just jump back into something with someone who is only coming back in because they have no access to you you know that's not your problem because when they had access to you how did they treat you that's the question you got to see something here you know not just you know oh I miss you can we just talk I know I need to make changes and stuff sometimes people break up and then they get back together too soon it's a it's a marathon not a sprint for something to really work out there's got to be more than just oh I miss you okay I'll take you back because that generally just turns right it cycles back into the same thing again and again and again okay Virgo so um Let's get your Chinese signs and see what Chinese signs we could come up here, come up with here. Okay, Year of the Rabbit, Year of the Dragon, Year of the Monkey, Year of the Goat, Goat again, Year of the Pig, Pig again. Year of the Rooster, Year of the Tiger, and the Year of the Dog. Now that could be you, that could be your person, it could be both of you or neither, doesn't mean it's not your reading. Okay, um, I'm going to just pull some charms and I'm going to end your reading. Sorry it's not super long, <clears throat> I just don't have the energy to go to a full hour. I hope you understand, it's just this... Um, this retrograde, I don't know about you guys, but it has been killing me. I've been sleeping like crazy. Needing a lot of rest. Okay. So, you do have... Uh-oh. Alright, it fell and it disappeared. Wow. Sorry about that. <laughs> I found a Tootsie Roll down there. Hmm. Okay. So, what do you have here? You have the cross. <clears throat> it's a blessing. Um, well, that's a strong message. Maybe you've been doing a lot of praying um, or getting um, very spiritual. Um, this is the cross of Christianity. Um, so, if that's something that has been a part of your life, or something you're getting back into um, or reconnecting with God or spirit well this would be Jesus Christ <laughs> you know whatever the situation um, I feel like that should be your biggest um, person the one you go to first about your situation asking for answers and guidance for sure if that's where you are in your life with that um, you will be led in the proper direction with with asking um, or praying about or meditating on you know some scripture or things in relation to the situation and in your love life okay um, maybe you went to church today for the first time and if so wow wonderful for you um, some of you might be reading your Bible so we also have um, <clears throat> well a stringed instrument okay so somebody might play a string instrument or be a musician um, or you're listening to some songs okay um, music might help you as well some people listen to music to try to you know uh, give them a sense of peace or give them maybe some uplifting music maybe you play in a band um, or a cover band are you working on a song? Somebody also might be writing a song for you and they might want to meet up with you to give you the song or play it for you or send you. They might be sending you songs as well. Okay. So here now you have an angel. So we have a cross and an angel. Okay. We're getting very spiritual here. Maybe spiritual music you listen to. Um, maybe uh, for some of you, this is all about connecting with your garden, guardian angel. 
as well and asking for guidance. Some of you live in a snowy area and you're making snow angels, I just heard. Okay. And last but not least. Oh, and then I just heard something. This person thinks she, either they call you angel or say you're my angel or um, your name is angel um, or they think you're an angel. <laughs> and I'll say you've got like this very bougie kitty. <laughs> Are they thinking of your bougie kitty? Let's let me let me try not to get candid here. Okay, this is a Siamese cat for sure. I know you guys can't really see it. My lighting is crazy, but yeah, Siamese cat. Maybe somebody has a Siamese kitty, Siamese cat. Okay, or there's like um, a brooch that somebody wears has a, a, a cat kitty cat brooch very interesting all right you guys i'm gonna leave your reading there i think our 40 something minutes is good so um yeah i'll be back here tomorrow to do your uh rest of your readings for the rest of this week um i hope you guys have a fantastic night and day and i will see you monday evening all right take care Bye.